Hi. In my last tutorial, I described and designed how to make a splash screen. And in this tutorial, we'll be moving on to the next important part of our project, which is creating a login page. The login form consists of uh, two text boxes, are the label for the username and the password, and three buttons. The login button under the reset button to clear the, the text field or the text boxes, and the exit button to actually close it. So if you have a login form like this, our, what you have to do is very simple. But in this tutorial, I will not be introducing the concept of database yet. In the next tutorial, I'll be introducing this new concept, I mean the concept of the databases. But, but it's important to know how the logging form actually works. So I'm going to quickly code this form without a database. So you have uh, the exit button. So you can say uh, this, of course, uh, which is fine. And uh, you have the reset button, which you just say txt, the text box name. Uh, text box password the text equals to a uh, null or you can have something like uh, uh, txt pass the clear whichever way you want to code it or you can have something like uh, txt pass dot or text equals the string dot empty Now, you can choose any of these options depending on you. So, I'm just going to go with uh, using this uh, clear method, which is a predefined method, by the way. And I'm just going to comment this portion. Next thing I want to do is I want to clear the next uh, text field or the text box. So, I'm going to say txt username dot text. I mean, that clear. Fine, and I want to shift the focus back to the uh, username field. So txt user dot focus. This will move the focus to the first text box is the username. So when you have this, this is a perfect uh, reset uh, code. Now you have a login button which you're gonna code, which is very simple. Uh, just declare to the string variable, the string variable, like a string. Uh, our user a comma pass user for username and pass for password user equals to root because of my love for open source operating systems so you know you have your root uh, user in your Linux environment so I'm using root as my username and uh, uh, pass equals to password let's say password fine so one thing I'd like you to do now is just do some if else condition uh, if or the text box value the, the, the text equals to this uh, user which is root and uh, if uh, the, the password field value equals to uh, pass then what should happen in this condition if these two conditions are, are fulfilled then we want sorry if these two conditions are fulfilled then we want to display a message a uh, message box that show uh, welcome user so that's what we want to do in the simplest uh, manner. The next thing you're going to do is uh, then uh, the health part is if this condition is not true, which means the username from the text box does not match with the username on the password uh, that we have here. So we're just going to show a message, just a simple display message. Uh, Our wrong username and password or password 
so this is fine. This is so far this is good. Uh, another thing I would like to do is uh, set the accept button to this uh, button login, and to do that, it just said uh, this dot accept button equals the VDN login, right? Fine, so that's it. So I'll I'll just click and I'll just I'll save it. So far, so good. Uh, this is a good code. I'm just gonna clear this text field. The first text box and the text second text box. So I'm just gonna copy this code, this entire code. If this statement is not true, that is, if if the username and password are not correct, then I want this to happen. I want to clear the text boxes and I want to set focus uh, to the the username text box. So this is as simple as it can get coding the the login form without our database. So let's run the code and see what we get. So find uh, root and is my username and my password is password. So, so the condition is true so we get welcome uh, user. So what if the condition is false? So let me reset it and say capital root and uh, some random password. Say wrong username and password. The next thing I want to do, when I click on this exit button, it should actually close this login form, which is going to happen. The next thing I want to do is I want to set uh, the number of try. So I'm just going to do this by declaring a global variable, uh, enter. Okay, let me say double account uh, equals to zero. In the else part, I if that condition is not true, uh, I want this to happen in the else part. In the else part. Um, so I'm just going to say uh, count equals to count uh, plus one. And uh, I want to declare another variable, say uh, double um, uh, max count. Because there's three. So, and uh, if then uh, double remaining count uh, count remain count equals to max count uh, minus count so Just gonna copy this uh, for simplicity's sake. Sorry. So uh, I'm just gonna modify this. Wrong username, password. Uh, was how many try that we have left? So so. Uh, just gonna have to a tab and say uh, plus remain uh, plus uh, uh, try uh, left and uh, I'm gonna give a condition that if if a count is 
if counts are equals equals uh, max count, uh, then uh, there's display message that says, "Hey guys, max try exit it." So this should be fine, uh, and I'll save my code. So let's try and run the program. So let's say random password and random username. Okay, you have wrong username of password to try left. Then I have this other random username. You have one more try. And uh, I and Max try exited. So after this, after Max tries exceeded, I want the application to close. So I have application dot exit, and this should be fine. Uh, so let's just say try. So it looks a dictionary kind of stuff. So. So this is my wrong username password and to try left. I want to try left. Wrong username or password zero try left and you have max track seated and that's it. Bingo. At the end of it, what we've tried to do is to create a login form with a username and a password without the use of a database. And which is a step closer to making a login form that has a user uh, that that can be connected to a database. We only in this tutorial we're just only learning how the database looks. I mean how the login form actually works, and 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 they try to put a kind of restriction to the number of attempts to log in into application. In the next tutorial, I'll be creating a. Uh, user account registration database with a user login database as well and actually making a login form and connecting it to the database. I hope you join me for the next tutorial. God bless you and God be with you. Bye.